How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. Today we've got a junior, and the juniors that you kind of know on FIFA, right? Vinicius Junior, Neymar Junior, Junior Thirpo. I've got no idea. We've got a new junior on the block. It's Junior Messias, and uh, he's suddenly like rose to fame for AC Milan out of absolute nowhere. And uh, I looked at his date of birth. It says 1991. That means he's about 30 years old. Uh, unless he's 31, who knows? No idea. My maths sucks. We're going to review the AC Milan attacker today. Of course, he does come out, I believe, as a cam slash centre forward from the objective. This card is completely free, apart from your time. So, this one is obtainable for absolutely everyone. It's not a card that's worth like 58 million coins that only one person in the world can get. Each and every single one of you guys can get it. There's one thing about this card which you can see right there. Now, if you originally went to the objective and you click the right stick in to see this card, you would have seen him with 3 star skills, 3 star weak foot. That's not the case with the actual card. He does have 5 star skills, he's got a 3 star weak foot as well, medium medium work rates and uh, he is left footed. Now you're looking at his stats, but while you're looking at his stats, I need you to like the video. Lads, if you do enjoy, make sure to like the video today. Drop a comment in the comment section below, what do you think of Junior Messiah is and uh, the card in general, because overall, it looks really well-rounded, and I will tell you straight away, he's actually really versatile. And of course, if you do want more reviews like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. I think, in total, this is like our fifth or sixth, um... Winter Wild Cards review on the channel, so make sure you subscribe to get more of this. Action? Don't want to say action. Now, I am trying to rush this because Newcastle Manchester City is literally about to kick off. They're walking out on the pitch now, and if they score whilst I'm doing the commentary, I, I, I just don't want to cry in front of a camera, even though I'd just be crying by myself in the room. Damn, that sounds like so lonely, doesn't it? But anyways, guys, in terms of Junior Messiah's stats, you're looking at 86 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. Now, I elected to use a Hunter Chem style on him. A boost to acceleration to 96, sprint speed to 99. Does he feel that fast in game? I've got to say he does, especially off the ball as well. He doesn't feel as quick as a lot of skills on this game. I'm not too sure why that is. It could be the lack of the flare trait. It could be uh, a mixture of a number of different things. But he is very quick off the ball. So one through ball, he's a way man. It's very hard to uh, stop him in full flow. Play him in a number of different positions today. Play him in striker, and I mainly played him at camp, to be honest. I reckon he's really versatile down the center of the pitch. Obviously, as a CM, it's not really gonna work out this card. Um, if you use him there, don't expect him to put a tackle in. Shooting wise, I mean, it's good. But you do need like a hunter, finisher, dead eye, maybe even a marksman to boost that, or a hawk or something like that. Passing wise, sensational. In game as well, this guy can just make assists with his eyes closed. He's got 87 agility, 85 bounce, 83 reactions, 88 ball control, 91 dribbling, and a low 77 composure. 89 stamina as well. With the work, it's been medium, medium. Doesn't matter too, too much. He's got leadership, he's got team player. And he's got goals in them, lads. So without any further ado, let's get into the gameplay. So here we go in to the gameplay. Now, this is the gameplay since Saturday. I want to say Saturday. I actually unlocked him on the Friday night he came out as well. Because not only do you get a Junior Messiahs and uh, XP if you're looking for objective points or whatever they're called these days, you also get a Wild Cards token, which as you guys know, the Wild Cards token is 25 overall because... The additional one was the one gifted with the 35k pack on the Friday. And uh, there's been two in SPCs, and the one in Objective is coming along with Junior Messiahs. So I believe it's in everyone's interest to do this S well, SPC uh, Objective. Because, I mean, it's not that difficult. It's not that difficult, man. Uh, I did it in one night. A lot of people do quit at 1-0. So, again, if you want the Brazilians and the Serie A goals, which you're looking for anyways, um, I can only recommend for me personally... Uh, Felipe Anderson. Felipe Anderson was brilliant for me. I played him at striker as well. And him getting the goal, coupled with the Brazil and Serie A, it just worked for me. It was brilliant. And uh, Felipe Anderson for me was just bagging all the goals in friendlies. Friendlies, they're not that serious. So don't take them seriously. Just play it. Just try and get it and casually do it over your time. And uh, without, like, blinking, it'll be there in your club. You'll get Messiah, you'll get the token, and you'll be smiling all the way to the virtual pitch and then you'll be crying once you do play the game but anyways i digress in terms of pros for this card uh pace has to be one of them he's really quick by the way the newcastle game looks like it's in night time but uh i was gonna say as you can see behind me it's it's such a like a, a gloomy day in the northeast today it's very very gloomy but uh anyways like i was saying a very fast is junior messiahs and uh, underneath that i've got passing 
I reckon he's really creative. His shooting is okay. When I say okay, it's just, it's not consistent. You're not gonna finish every single chance, unfortunately, with Junior Messiahs. Freestyle weak foot, adds to that inconsistency. Uh, also, like, um, the composure as well, because freestyle weak foot with 77 composure, if you do have a chance on that freestyle weak foot, outside the area, maybe inside the area from certain angles, um, you might score, but the odds are generally like super low because of the composure and the freestyle weak foot. So straight away, freestyle weak foot amongst the cones, and uh, so is power. When I, I kind of determine power, sometimes it's twofold, this one is not. It just doesn't seem to have any aggression in him, strength in him whatsoever, despite it being 71 strength, so just watch out for that uh, if you do use him. And use him like, just basically, He's a skillful playmaker. That's what I would describe Junior Messiah as. Versatility. Love that about the card because you could play him in three different positions, in my personal opinion. And it's anywhere down the center. Striker, center forward, cam. And so he could even be in a two striker formation. So it really, really works fantastically as well. Of course, he's dribbling. Five star skills are there in abundance. Without any further ado, let's get into the summary. So there we have it, the lads, for Junior Messiah. Uh, Messiahs. I need to get his name right because I don't always get it right. But as you can see, I played him in a number of different teams. He's been in my squad actually pretty much ever since I've, I've done this uh, object. I keep saying SPC, it's an objective, lads. It's an objective. He's been in my club pretty much ever since uh, I got it done. And see some other players in there as well. If you ever want to review on anyone, simply let me know. And when I do get the chance, it will be on the channel. Even got Malink with Savage, Spinazola in there. I've had Fabino, you would have seen in the first team as well. Uh, Newcastle putting on the pressure. Go on, boys. Um, but uh, it's, it's very interesting, this card, because he doesn't play like a lot. Uh, it's, you know the Serie A cams? He doesn't play like a Serie A cam. I know that, that sounds bizarre, but when you kind of compare this guy, right, to the Serie A, we'll go to Serie A right now and uh, just have a little kind of butches, you know, about the other second kind of playmakers that you can probably expect in this division. Obviously, you've got the Chiesas. He's not really a skiller, is he? Four star, four star. Insigne, again along the similar lines. Uh, Dybala's in there as well. I, I, I like using Dybala in that position. You got Dries Mertens. I see Dries Mertens personally as more of a, a cam, that kind of position. Um, actually, no, I, no, I see Mas this Newcastle match is messing with my brain. I see Messias is more of a cam, whereas Mertens is more of a striker. But the skills are just nice with this card, man. I would say Mertens is better. I don't think there's any kind of comparison right there. Mertens just offers more for your team. But I mean, when you look at the skillers in this division, there's not too, too many. And then we'll drop it down into the exact same one. Uh, midfield, right? Where are you seeing the attacking playmakers here? Because I'm not seeing too, too many. I'm seeing a lot of box-to-box -box midfielders, but none of the kind of ilk that Junior Messiah is. You know what I'm saying? That kind of play just behind the striker. I'm not seeing that. Pretty much anyways, maybe Luis Alberto, but I mean, you're not going to use that kind of pace on a player. Not naturally anyways. So when it comes to comparable players, I don't think there's anyone kind of comparable within the division. Obviously, Perea might have been if they enhanced his skills. They left him at four star, four star, you know what I'm saying? So it's very interesting, this kind of card, because you don't often get it. That is basically what I'm trying to say. So for me, Junior Messias is definitely a valuable choice. Like I did say, 11 games and 4 goals, 4 assists, which you see in the gameplay today. I think, um, oh, it's a city corner, boys. A city corner. I think, personally, for this card, it's well worth your time. Well worth your time. Now let's get the overall ratings, and then, obviously, the value for time and stuff like that as well. Personally, for Junior Messias, he's going to get an 8.2. Uh, he is limited in certain... Kind of facilities of this card. Three star weak foot being one, the power being another one as well. And um, not the predictability, the skills is there. But it's just kind of, uh, it's very hard to explain, right? Because you look at all your stats, it looks fantastic. Oh, Newcastle, you pricks! What are you doing? What have I just witnessed, man? This team sucks. What have I just witnessed, man? The ball's headed back across the box. The keeper stands still. The defender stands still. And it's tapped into a bloody empty net. Oh, just, just relegate us, man. This sucks. I'm sorry, boys. Going off on a tangent, but... I hope there's like a random offside in there somewhere. Vaughn! Where's Vaughn? He's, he's, he's onside. What the hell is that? Oh, dude, I'm not watching this game, dude. Right, uh, value for time. 
I'm sorry, lads, I'm sorry. That is frustrating beyond. Jesus Christ. Uh, a value for time, 9.8. Whereas Newcastle is just not value a time to even watch. This is value for time to do. So uh, 9.8 for myself, value for time. Definitely get it done. And of course, it comes with a wildcard token as well, which is... Is that Kieran Clark again? Jesus Christ. I'm just disappointed, boys. Just disappointed. Uh, value for time, like they say, 9.8. I, I think it's fully worth it. Definitely worth it. And uh, it's, it's a fantastic objective card. And like I just say, you get the token as well. I see enjoyment. It does provide a little something different. But it's limited enjoyment. So 8.6 for myself. Judah Messiahs, definitely get them done if you guys can. And uh, I'm going to get a win. And see, this is what I was afraid of when I first started recording this commentary. You can't being idiots. And now I'm going to cry for the next two hours watching this crap. I'm not a happy chappy, boys. I'm not a happy chappy. But thank you very much for watching the first review of the day. Junior Messiahs, Meteoric Rise, and like he's come out of nowhere as well. Crotone, Crotone, which I believe is in Serie B right now. Wilson, your side, pal. Get back on side. The Crotone's in Serie B. He's come from Serie B, and he's actually doing brilliant for AC Milan right now. So uh, definitely get it done. Press! He's offside, I swear. Oh my God, Newcastle, man. Hopefully Newcastle come back in this game. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time, lads.